Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Nady, and today we're going over the latest, best and worst to boot Tay Tay. And as you beautiful people know, this is about the products, not the people behind them. Any tip you may have with them, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy, okay? Thank you. Oh, my little swang beach grasses, how you doing today? I hope wherever you're at in the world, you're having a spiffy day so far. I myself am doing wonderful. It's actually almost time for me to get ready for bed, but I've had like six espresso shots today and I am ready to film. Bedtime, who is she? Sleep, don't know her. Waking up rested, <laughs> what? No, but anyways, we are on to yet another month. I've had a whole month to try new products. However, I will admit it is the beginning of the year and if you're a YouTuber, that means you make literally no money. For the next three months, any content you see from anybody is pretty much free. So around this time of year, I take this time for myself and I try to upload content that's more fun versus reviews. So I didn't really get a chance to try a whole bunch of products, but we still did try a few. And I'm always trying a few things like on the side for my everyday routine. And I wanted to share a few of my little findings for you. So I don't know that this one's gonna be very long, we'll see. But regardless of how long or girthy this video is, let's dive into it. If you've ever watched these kinds of videos from me, I have three different categories. We have the Yas category, the meh category and the hell no category. I kind of feel like things become a little bit more real and juicy the closer we inch to the hell no category. So let's start with the yasses like usual. And there really isn't any kind of order to this. I just throw all the shit in the category. But if there were an order to this, this would absolutely be deserving of the top spot. And that is literally everything that I just tried in my Shop Miss A haul. Holy shit balls on a stick. This time it was so good. A few years back, I did a Shop Miss A haul. Most of that shit was like thrown away. But then something inside of me said, you need to order from there again, bitch. And I did, and oh my goodness. So I got the AOA Studio Pro Wear Foundation. absolutely fucking lootly amazing. I want to say it was maybe $1.90. Like seriously, some of the prettiest stuff I've ever smeared on my face. <laughs> and we've smeared a lot of stuff on my face. The Paw Paw Concealer that went with it was just as magical. It looked so airbrushed on my skin. It was smooth. It blended out flawlessly. And once again, under two bucks, so too was this Velvet Lips lipstick. It didn't dry all the way down. It's not my favorite thing ever, but again, for like a dollar or two, you can't freaking beat it. It is magic. I also got these two Amuse palettes, which I've heard that these ones are kind of hit or miss. These two little freak leaks that I got were an absolute hit. Then I got these two Princess A contour and blush palettes. These ones were just okay, but they still deserve to be in the yes category. I'm pretty sure both of those palettes were still under $2, and for that price, like, oh my goodness. It's mixed makeup scent from the cheap ass makeup gods. Like I am here for it. But the item that I think was my all time favorite out of everything that I got from Shop Miss A, oddly enough, is my lash glue. I've spent so much freaking money on good lash glues, but this one is so good. It sticks my lash down all day. I wouldn't even be surprised if somebody slapped this on their back and could stick to a wall. This is like gorilla glue for your eyes, but not in a horrific bad way, like that poor girl with the hair. It's a good lash glue that keeps your lashes on your eyes. Like halfway throughout the day, half your lash isn't going to be flapping in the wind. But this is where the hell it's at. It is so good. Like everything that I just mentioned is top notch for almost next to nothing. Shop Miss A has come through. You can spend $10 and look like a million bucks. She has restored my faith in humanity. We are here for her. We are also here for this next fairly inexpensive product that I found on Amazon. So I have perpetually dry lips. It doesn't matter if it's summertime, if it's wintertime, my lips will always feel like a cheese grater. And so lately, I've really been trying to combat that. All I want is suckable, fuckable, kissable lips. And so at night before bed, I'll slap on my Colitis lip mask, which I'll talk about in just a second. But then over that, I'll put on a lip gloss. But I go through a lot of lip gloss. And yeah, you totally could apply like petroleum jelly Vaseline to your lips, but I don't like the feeling of Vaseline. To me, it feels like gummed up um, body fluids. Fluids that a lot of people probably don't mind around their mouth, but I am not one of those people. It's a gross feeling. I'm not here for it. So instead, I put lip gloss on, but as I said, I go through that shit like air. And I work in the cosmetic industry, so I'm very familiar with buying a base product, like a lipstick base or a soap base. And I was laying in bed and I thought, why don't I just buy a lip gloss base? So I did, and this whole packet of lip gloss, this looks like an IV bag, oh my gosh. But this whole bag of lip gloss, I think was like five or ten dollars, and it feels so damn good. This is 
Paramus lip gloss base. I'm sure any lip gloss base would work. This was just the cheapest one that I found first. And it feels amazing. You can actually add eyeshadows or any kind of pigment to this. You can add lipstick to it to customize it to be any shade that you want. It is so comfortable. It is perfect for exactly what I want at night. And even throughout the day, I'll open up the little tubes, squirt some on my lips, and be good for the entire day. If you have a bunch of tubes lying around, you could absolutely get like a metal syringe and squirt it inside your tubes. We love a recycling moment, but this is just such a money saver because lip glosses can be so expensive, like up to $20 for just a clear base. Bitch, no, like there is no need for that. Just buy this. I promise you, you will be totally happy. And if you're not, send it back. It's Amazon. But like I said, before I go in with that, I use this Kaleidos lip mask and this is actually pretty petroleum heavy, but because they add a bunch of other things, it's not as uncomfortable for me. It's very smooth. It's very nice feeling, but I do just need something to lock that moisture in. Otherwise, when I'm turning in the middle of the night, it'll just wipe off on my comforter. And I don't want people to see my bedding and have it look all stained and stuff. Like, I don't want to get the wrong impression. But yes, this stuff is absolutely amazing. So too is their lip clay. What, what did I do with it? Okay, well, here's one of the colors. This stuff feels so fantastic. Oh, I grabbed a deep purple. The formulas are heavenly on the lips. They don't fully dry down, which can sound like a bad thing, but it actually makes it so that if you're eating or anything and a little bit rubs off, you can just rub your lips together and it looks just as gorgeous as when you first applied it. And there are so many colors to choose from. It's weightless. It's super moisturizing. I just really, really like this stuff. It has worked its way into one of my all-time favorite lip products ever. Like the amount that I reach for these little bitches is redonkulous. It is a fabulous formula. I've really not heard many bad things about them. This brand Kaleidos just all together is really, really fabulous. Like definitely keep your eyes on them. And then I also want to shout out their highlighters. However, I'm not putting these in the yes category because of their highlighting purposes. I actually don't care for them as highlighters. These are top quality eyeshadows. Like, oh my goodness, are they beautiful. Multi-chromes and duochromes are so in right now, but I myself am not the biggest multi-chrome person because I like my looks to look the same every way that I turn. And with multi-chromes, you never really know what you're going to get. It just depends on the lighting, the angles. However, these completely changed my mind, especially the space age ones. There's prophecy and gifted and both of them look white right here. I don't think you're going to be able to tell the difference, but definitely check out my review on these to actually see how they look because this one, though it looks white right there, actually turns green, aqua, purple, pink, yellow, like so many different colors. And the same for this one. This one's like minty green. It's neon pink. I see blue. I see green. They are just out of this world, which I think is the whole purpose of this collection. As highlighters, they're totally not my bag. They just kind of sit on the skin. I don't care for them, but on the eyes, oh, simply exquisite. And don't even get me started if you put it over a black base. Like, oh my gosh, talk about an eyegasm. Oh, just thinking about it is making my nips leak. All right, let's move on. Otherwise, I'm going to pass out. And the second to last product in this yes category is actually a little bit surprising for me because I don't care much for this brand. Like I always say, this is about the products, not the people behind them. That's the only reason why this product is here. And that is the Morphe Hint of Tint, I think. I don't know. It's their little enhancing drops. I'm actually wearing them right now. I think they're so fucking stunning. This was like $18 and one bottle will last me probably years. You literally only need the tiniest drop. It just evened out my skin tone. I look just a little bit healthier. And with the tiny minuscule amount that I used, my skin is still really, really smooth. It blended out so nicely atop my skin. And it doesn't look like I'm wearing anything. I probably should have powdered my forehead because we are a shiny bastard right now, but I don't care. People's skin gets shiny throughout the day. And that's kind of what I like about this product is that your skin is still able to be its skin without this just melting off your face. I'm heading out of town next week to a very, very warm climate. And so I'm going to put this to the test and see if I like it quite as much after. But right now in the winter of Michigan, I do like it. I really think that for what you get, the price is right on point. You can always find a coupon. I mean, it's Morphe. For the first time in a long time, it is a face product from this brand that I really do recommend. Like I always recommend their eyeshadows. They're great. But I've not been the hugest fan of their facial products themselves, but this really changed the game for me. And last up for this category actually isn't really a beauty product, but I guess it kind of makes me feel a little bit more beautiful. We have some fragrances. Oh my God, they're heavy. And these fragrances are actually from Zara. I know, Zara. Zara is one of those weird places where depending on where you are, it can either be like trashy or bougie. Like when I was in Spain, the Zara there was so freaking nice. But then when I was in other parts of Europe, I was like frowned at for shopping there. And then in some parts of the USA, people are like, ew, Zara. But I think it's because their shit is made like all over the world, depending on where you're shopping. Because the Zara shit that I still got from Spain still looks brand new.
new after years of wearing it, and the Zara shit that I get in the US falls apart after the third wash. But who the fuck cares about that? I'm pretty sure all these are gonna be the same. This is the men's fragrance line. I got suckered into buying these because my ass was in the checkout line for a way too long, and I just couldn't not smell these. And I smelled them at the store, and I was like, these smell so good, and I like them because they're familiar smells. But I couldn't quite place the fragrances until I got home, and I realized that these are dupes for my Chanel Blue, for my Gucci Guilty, for my Marc Jacobs, and I think these were like $11 a piece. <laughs> I spent so much money on that other designer shit. What the fuck? I ended up getting navy black, warm black, silver, and gold. And granted, you do need about four sprays for one spray of the designer shit, but that four sprays will last you all day, and like for $11, that's really damn good. Especially if you're like me, where you get sick of a fragrance like five squirts in. So it gives me the opportunity to smell designer, but not pay a designer price tag. I don't know that every Zara will have these. I've been to two of them, and one of them didn't. But if you can find them, definitely give them a smell. They are so beautiful smelling. Like, this one is sensual beyond shit. Oh my gosh, it smells like teak wood and a fireplace and sex. Like, if just fucked hair had a smell, it would be this. Oh my gosh, it's just beautiful and leathery. This navy black one, I think, is similar to the Chanel Blue. And it's kind of powdery but masculine. This silver one... Oh my gosh. Once again, is either a dupe for the Gucci Guilty or the Chanel Blue. I can't remember which. Probably the Gucci Guilty because it's silver. And it too is just so sensual and masculine and just rough and tough. And it makes me want to lick a bodybuilder. Then last up, we have the Gold, which is kind of similar to the silver. It's just a little bit more of like a daytime fragrance. It's not quite as pungent with a muskiness. It's not as heavy. It's kind of sweet, but it definitely has that muskiness that kind of makes the back of your throat want to close up a little bit. Which if you're wearing any of these little sex kittens, by the end of the night, your throat will probably be swollen anyways. <laughs> okay, all right, that is enough with those fragrances, but if you like masculine scents, absolutely check these out. They are affordable, they come in two packs, you really can't go wrong, they're great. Now, on to our meh category, we have the Very Valentino Foundation, is that what it was called? Fuck, I don't even know, it's not even worth remembering. In fact, it was so bad that my ass sent it back to Sephora because, like, uh-uh, waste of money. But here is a little picture of it, if you see it lurking around, run. It looks decent. I don't necessarily have any complaints with how it looked on my skin, but if you care anything about finances, like, don't waste your money. It is not worth almost $70. You can literally get the same exact look and feel and texture of it, the same coverage, everything from a drugstore foundation for a tenth of the price. The only reason it's not my hell no category is because for some people, $70 isn't that bad, and you might totally be on board with this because it does look pretty on the skin. For me, with that price tag, it needs to make me microwave popcorn and apply my lipstick. And if it doesn't do that, it better make me look so young that I look like a fucking embryo. It did none of that. It looked just like my cover girl, like my Maybelline, but with really nice packaging and I think it was made in Europe. So yeah, not a fan, nor was I a huge fan of this little guy right here. Recognize her? No, this isn't what you find in your nightstand drawer. This is a makeup applicator from Leah Beauty. And the biggest reason why this gorgeous little tonguey creature is in this category is because this retailed for almost $70. And it is literally a tongue-shaped silicone sponge with a little tongue texture on it. I love the innovation. I've never seen anything like this before, and I love supporting indie brands. However, after everything was said and done, this was $70, and it did nothing different to my makeup. In fact, I thought using my hands and my fingers looked way better than how this did. The only reason that she isn't in my hell no category is because this blended out my cream blush and my cream contour so fabulously. I don't really have products that are able to blend my cream blush out without it melting my face base, and this did an excellent job. It's still not worth it because I can just use a powder blush or a powder contour, but if you do master how to use this in your makeup artist, this would be so easy to clean. It will probably never break. You can sanitize it, and in that regard, it makes sense. But for a basic bitch like myself, I'm just gonna stick to the brushes and poof poofs that I always use. This, to me, unfortunately doesn't serve a purpose more than, like, a stress ball now. Especially because even though this is supposed to be more hygienic, this collects dust and hair and dirt and lint and everything that could possibly be in the air. Like nobody's business, this thing is filthy. It's hairier than I am. It's just so sticky. So I just am not the biggest fan of that, but I really am here for the innovation with that product, so I am totally gonna keep my eye on that brand. Like, don't sleep on them. Nor do I recommend this product that I'm probably gonna get shit for disliking. Like, this is kind of a holy grail. That is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. For some reason, this looks so pilly on my eyes. It 
doesn't blend out and lay down smooth and oh my fucking tits and taint. This makes my eyeshadow look like garbage on my skin. I've never seen eyeshadows look as horribly as they do than when I use this product. The only reason it's not my hell no category is when it comes to shimmers, this is very, very good. Like cutting a crease with it. It's decent, but is this something that I would ever repurchase? No. I know on C4 Hot, this has great reviews and I'm so confused about that, but happy for the people that this works with. But every one of my friends that I've asked about this have said that they've hated this and they don't understand why it's popular and I am falling in that category. So if you like it, let me know and how do you get it to work? Cause that shit was kind of expensive and like I have it, I wanna use it. But she is teetering her ass right on that border into the hell no category. And last up for this section, we have a product that's actually very old, but I just retried it in a new series that I'm doing where I retry old shit that I hated. And that is the Booty Blender Bounce House Foundation. What is this? Oh, just the Booty Blender Bounce. So originally I hated the actual shit out of this, not just the packaging, which does suck. Like it is awful. Like that is the stupidest thing that I've ever seen. It is so messy. It is always filthy. But the first time I applied it, I went in pretty heavily. And then this time when I retried it, I used it sparingly, kind of as like a BB or a CC cream. And it was so beautiful. The only reason it's not my yes category is because it dries so quickly that I actually can't spread it around fast enough on my face. And so you almost have to mix it with a moisturizer just to get it to be even on your mug, which I have foundations that I don't have to do that with. Like that is utter bullshit. But minimalism with this is the name of the game. It looks so pretty. I was so surprised that I ended up liking it because every time that I've used this, I hate it more and more. And if you do have any dryness to your skin, I still say run the other way. But if you have smoother, not necessarily super textured skin and you just want a light wash of color, I do recommend this. But again, go in with like one pump max, mix it with something and use it almost like the Morphe drops as just like a little healthy base. And now we are on to probably everybody's favorite category because we can now be a shady lady. We are in the hell no department. And if you've been on my channel within the last few weeks, you probably know what the first products are gonna be. But do I even need to say them? We have the Jacqueline Cosmetics Consquealer. Oh my God, this is literally dog shit in a tube and way overpriced. Like always, this is about the products, not the people behind them. However, with this brand, the people who buy these products are because they follow Jacqueline. Or I feel like a majority of the buyers have to know Jacqueline. And in my eyes, she's known for being like super glowy, super over the top with coverage, just like anti-matte and super duper wet. <laughs> Giggity. And so first of all, I'm confused why the fuck she even put her name on a matte product like this that looks like actual sandpaper underneath the eyes. Like if you mix the textures of a lizard tail, a sidewalk, and dry dusty ass dirt, then you would have how this looks underneath your eyes. And that hurts so bad to say because this brand actually was on kind of a good roll there for a second. Like they have excellent lip products. The face highlighting palette I use almost every day. So when it came to this launch, I was so excited. I ordered so many shades thinking that I would love this to the moon and back. Oh fuck was I wrong. Everyone was wrong. I have yet to see anybody say a good thing about this product unless it's from Jaclyn or like a hardcore Jaclyn stan. Unless you're spreading Crisco or mayonnaise underneath your eyes as like a pre-primer to this, I don't know how anybody could get this to work. It is so dry. It is way overpriced. I did test it against Morphe, which I think was around half the price. And the Morphe was shitty too, but certainly not this bad. Like if you ever see this, I cannot not recommend it enough. It is just so bad. It's beautiful packaging. The color choice actually seems pretty decent and its claims are phenomenal. The coverage is honestly outstanding, but none of that matters if how it looks on your skin is trash. And this isn't even trash. This is like something a sewer rat would eat. And that's so bitchy to say, but it's honest. Like I spent a lot of money on this and I am not happy. But if a little gutter rat's gonna be eating that shit, it might as well have a little bit of dessert too and snack on this Jacqueline, I don't know, water? What do they even call this? Skin perfecting blurring tint? It does none of that. Once again, I am so completely shooketh that Jacqueline put her name on something that has absolutely no coverage. Like, is she not the full coverage cake face queen? Like her shtick is looking flawless and contoured and just beautiful. And this does nothing to help that. Like I bet you she does not use this product. And if she does, it's underneath a full coverage foundation, which they did say you could use this as a primer. So maybe that 
would be good for you. In my review, I said I'd never pay $34 for a primer. And then I went and used the Laura Mercier, like $38 one. But I had no idea that's how much this was. It was sent to me. The only way that I would ever fucking recommend this is if you're like a vlogger or a YouTuber or you're on camera and you're four feet away from the camera. Because like I said in my review, this was totally made by an influencer. It's made to look good on the screen, but in person, it looks like garbage. And up close, it looks like garbage. Like if you're filming in anything HD, the farther back you are, the better you'll be. And if that's the case, why even bother using a $34 or $36 product? I don't even remember how much this was. I just want to forget about it. I don't have anything against Jaclyn Cosmetics or Jaclyn. I don't know her. And even if I did, I would be saying the exact same thing because you deserve honesty. That is what we're about. And I wish there had been a little bit more honesty with that product. Like, had they not hyped this up as much as they did and maybe not promised as much as they did, I would have been okay with this. Like, all they would have had to say is that this is a tinted primer. That would have been perfect. But instead, there were all these claims that it's like a tinted foundation, kind of, and that you'll actually be able to see stuff and you kind of have to use a lot to be able to see anything. I'm just really disappointed. This hurts to say because this is like the second flop out of like five launches and that's not a good track record. So I'm gonna give this brand a good long break, give them time to reevaluate if that's even in the cards for them. But I will say they're liquid lipsticks, hella amazing. I will always use those. I think they're beautiful. They're so comfortable on the lips. They actually do have a few really good products. And so that's why I was utterly confused about this launch because the money is absolutely there for them to actually launch good foundations. And if you can't come out with good foundations and good concealers at the same time, then wait, it's not that big of a deal. Like people don't have to put out 800 products per launch. Like you can put out one product and perfect it so that people get excited for your next launches because they know the heart is there, they know the quality is there, and this just lost me. Cash Grab has entered the building. And finally, our last product is yet another one that's basically tinted water, and that is the Maybelline Superstay Activewear 30 Hour Can Squeeze Squee. I was so excited for this because Maybelline is home to one of my favorite foundations ever. I've used it on clients, I use it on myself, I just always fucking trust the Maybelline Fit Me. So when my innocent self got this, I was so damn excited only to find out that one, you either need an entire tube to get any kind of coverage or you spend your money knowing that this is just a placebo. This blends out to be almost nothing, like not even a wash of color. It's just a wash. And this was only like maybe 12 or $11, but also at this fabulous time in the world, 11 or $12 can buy you some pretty damn good makeup, much better than this. I don't think it looks bad or dry or creasy or anything like that. It just doesn't have a look. So I guess maybe if you're into like the no makeup makeup look, then you'd like this, but it really is like no makeup. Rather than having to go in with four coats of this just to make it look like you got 45 minutes of extra sleep, I would say maybe save your pennies and spend them on something with more coverage so that you can get a little bit more out of it because all you might need is one or two tiny drops of a full coverage concealer that you can blend out versus having to actually paint this on your skin to get anything to show up. It is just a total flop of a product from a brand that I absolutely love, but it totally fits in the category of these guys. Like you are spending your money just to spend money. But of course, that's just my opinion. You might like any of these products. That's totally okay. In fact, let me know if there's any products that I didn't like that you loved or any products that I loved that you absolutely hate. Even though it's one of the weird things about makeup, it's honestly one of the things that I love the most about makeup because nothing is universal. And it's just a great reminder that we are all human. We are all different. Concealers don't work for everyone. Foundations don't work for everyone. Hell, some people and personalities don't work for everyone. I mean, hi. And also, also, please let me know if I convinced you to try anything and how you like it. But otherwise, thank you so much for being here. I absolutely love having you. I hope you're having a wonderful day, a fabulous month, and of course, a marvelous year so far. And my beautiful little butterflies, you know my outro. If you'd like a little bit more moi in your life, please head over to Patreon. It's patreon.com slash poplex. You get videos a day early. You get Patreon on the content. And best part, it is cheap, fun, and fancy, just like me. And like always, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell down below so that you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Don't forget my newest collection of highlighters, including Black Ice, which does change from black to white, will be available again soon at thepoplex.com. Also, my latest album, Kiss of Fame, is available everywhere online that music is sold. Thank you so much to everyone who's supporting them. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at OfficialNady, and you can follow me online at thepoplex.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye.